Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing our 10 minute targeted workout. We're doing legs. Um, for the legs we've been looking at two different things, the squat jumps and the split jumps. So today we're going to do the split jumps. Um, last week we did uh, 10 per minute. So we're going to be bumping it up to 11. And we're going to keep, uh, we're going to keep upping this one each week. Um, until we hit kind of our wall and then I'm going to show you guys how we get past that. Um, it's important when you do any of these workouts, uh, any of the 10 minute targeted workouts, to constantly improve from the previous week. Uh, you know, if you do the same thing, you're going to be in the same place. So you got to push it just a little bit each time and um, you know, there's tricks. If you can't get the reps in, then you just do an extra set or find a way, find a way where we keep, uh, keep forcing improvement. That's kind of the most important principle, um, I think, in working out is to constantly force improvement. All right, so uh, if you want to do this workout with me, um, I'm going to get started in just a moment. You can pause the video. Uh, you can kind of sync yourself up to me. I'll be doing 11 split jumps every minute for 10 minutes. Okay, we're going to be starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So when I'm doing these, I'm really just jumping enough so I can switch my feet kind of the front foot goes to the back and the back foot goes to the front drop into a lunge and then when once your knee hits the ground you're going to jump up and switch again 30 seconds in even the first just doing the first set I even though I consider myself in decent shape it still gets my heart kind of pounding and just one set of 11 already and breathing a bit heavier. Okay, we've got uh, 10 seconds. Okay, five, four, three, two, here we go. So I, uh, I released a video a few days ago, it was a 500 push-up challenge where I got a deck of 54 cards, kind of drew a card and did push-ups um, for each one of those. And I'm still sore, so my chest and shoulder, I normally don't get sore for too long, but I'm actually still sore from that workout. And uh, you know, that's kind of a good reason to do another body part, to do legs. It's going to still help me circulate, um, you know, my blood, help my muscles heal. And if I'm super tight, I'm not going to want to be focusing on upper body. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I also have another video, if you haven't seen it, it's uh, you know, four reasons to do legs, um, aesthetics aside, so let's say you're somebody you don't care how your, how your body looks, how your legs look, there's still four good reasons um, to exercise them, so check out that video if you haven't, but essentially it's going to help boost your testosterone level, it's going to help, um, you know, legs are important for athletic performance. It's going to help your recovery time heal and uh, help circulation and everything. So yeah, check out that video. 10 seconds. Three, two... One of my favorite uh, leg workouts to do, and if I had to probably say my 
what I think the best one is would be the walking lunge. Um, and I've talked about this in another video I have where I talked about how I uh, basically had a world record unofficially for a short period of time for the one mile walking lunge. I was able to get 28 minutes and five seconds. And at the time the world record was 30 minutes and 50 seconds. Since then it dropped down to like 24. Um, 10 seconds. But uh, it's one of those leg workouts that really works your whole leg. You're able to do it for a while so it helps burn fat. And I've been wanting to do a video of it, but it uh, might not be the most interesting thing. I need to find someone to film me. Most of these videos I do kind of on my own. Um, but it's something that if you don't do, I'd recommend doing. Especially if you live somewhere where the weather's decent. You can go outdoors to a park. And uh, it's, it's uh, you know, I can't understate how how good that workout is. You basically just go to a field, go to a park, go somewhere and just walk and lunge, kind of like this, take a step, keep going, and five seconds. And the big thing with that workout is to, uh, you know, see how far you went, and then improve next time. Um, if you don't have much time then I'd say definitely do the 10 minute workout for legs, do the squat jumps, do the split jumps. Even if you just uh, squat for 10 minutes, you can either do a certain number of repetitions per minute or just keep trying to squat for the entire 10 minutes. I was doing that back when I had a knee injury. I would just get the timer just, just for 10 minutes and just keep squatting. And I just alternate between going fast and then slowing it down if I needed the break. But just keep moving. 10 seconds. But these that we're doing right now are really good. Five, three, even just doing 11 a minute. I'm feeling it. And they start to build up on you. Um, you know, with the later sets, you start to feel your legs get heavy, feel them burn a bit, breathe heavier. So uh, give this workout a shot. Let's see, we did seven sets. It's still not too bad for me because we're doing 11. It's doable, but I definitely feel it. I think once we get to, uh, you know, in the 20s, it's going to get substantially tougher. Okay, we've got 15 seconds for set number eight. 10 seconds. Five. I, uh, I'm going to be doing more videos on kind of nutrition, my take on, you know, kind of what I like to eat. Um, but just as a little preview, you know, one of the most controversial parts of someone's diet is uh, his carbohydrates. And I just want to talk a little bit about that. So I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of carbs, but I think like anything, there's good carbs and there's bad carbs. And uh, a lot of kind of fad diets, they just treat them all somewhat equally and they just say they're bad. 10 seconds. But I think as an athlete, you know, carbs are going to give you fuel. And additionally, some of the most nutritious um, foods, fruits, uh, vegetables are high in carbohydrates like sweet potatoes, beets. And things like that. Uh, 
Uh, so I definitely don't like to skip them. I like to include them in all meals. I basically like all of my meals to be um, somewhat balanced where there's protein, there's fat, there's carbohydrates. Uh, ideally you have, you know, you're eating enough kind of living food each day, so like raw foods as well as cooked foods. Um, for snacks, I like to snack on, you know, just carrots, apples, 10 seconds left, fruit, berries, bananas, nuts, three, two, one, last set. Um, yeah, we're done, but just to finish what I'm saying, uh, you know, it's really about the quality of the food you eat, portion control, um, a lot of people, I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes if you're preoccupied with something, you might not eat as much that day. Let's say you're building something, you're assembling something, you're busy, you're doing something you enjoy. A lot of times people don't feel that need, that hunger that we usually get. A lot of times our eating habits are, uh, you know, stress related. We might be either bored or sitting down at a computer or stressed about something and we just kind of start snacking, start nibbling on things um, to feel better. And, you know, I think bringing um, some attention to that will help you solve the problem if that's something you do. Um, you know, some things you can do is obviously if you realize you're doing it, try to do it less. And uh, if you do it, and you kind of sometimes you just want to nibble on something, you want to eat something, you just make better choices. Get some celery, get some carrots, get some cucumbers, get some apples. Um, you know, eat as much of that as you want. It's not going to be bad. It's not like you're eating, you know, a lot of people will get like pretzels or they'll get chips or they'll get something that's just not good for you. And they start snacking on that and they just keep eating it. So when you have the, those, uh, those cravings, try to start substituting for something healthier. I remember when I was first going from my, you know, I, was, I kind of talk about my history in one video, but I was pretty heavy at one point. I was about 212 pounds. My focus was like powerlifting, trying to have a big bench press. And then I made the decision to try to get in shape, try to get leaner. And one of the things I did was I just started, you know, I'd eat, I started eating better quality foods, obviously. I was doing five or six small meals throughout the day. And when I'd be snacking, because I was used to eating so much when I was heavy, it was hard to kind of change that habit. So I just started snacking on like green apples. I'd eat probably four or five green, you know, Granny Smith apples a day. You can do any apple. I just something about those kind of stuck with me and uh, just doing that I felt I felt way better I remember maybe it's just the change from going from unhealthy food to a lot more fruit um, but something you know you might want to consider is when you if you if you're a snacker try to just make a different choice try to do more apples more carrots they kind of fill you up a bit especially the carrots and you're not gonna have the guilt of something as unhealthy as like chips or cookies. All right, we'll see you guys next time, thank you.